Welcome in. This is my kitchen. And I'm Mr. Robert. So let's go see what's cooking. Hey, thanks for dropping by my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for making some corn on the cob. Now, when I go to the store, I usually buy the, the green giant niblets, or the nibblers. And I want to show this to you because if you look on the package, it doesn't tell you how to season up your corn on the cob. It just tells you to put it in a pot of water. Well, it doesn't stop there. you got to have some seasoning on this. So that's what I'm going to show you today, how I how I season up some corn on the cob, and you're really, really going to like it. Okay. I have a stick of butter here that's really, really soft, and I put me a glove on. So I'm going to take this butter here, and I'm going to slather all of these little nibblets. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper on them. Get a nice coating of butter all the way around. One more. I'm going to cook them at 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, got the butter on there. Now we're going to do some salt and pepper. Remember that next time. Quit reaching across. Okay, there's your there's your salt. And you're probably going to end up putting some more salt and pepper on it after you get to the plate or after you get to your table. But that's all right. thing I like to do to make the corn cob pop, I like to put a little garlic powder on it. Just a touch. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Okay, now the last thing that you need to do is you take some water and you pour it in your baking dish and you only want to come up to Way of where the cob is. You don't want to overflow it. Okay, that's about half. Then, last thing, cover it with some foil. You may want to check your corn on the cob after an hour. Some of them cook a little bit hotter than others. Just get your fork and open up the foil and you can uh, stick your fork in the corn on the cob. That's called fork tender. So it may be done after about an hour, but I cook mine an hour and 15 minutes. So I hope you try this recipe. Hey, welcome back in. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I actually took out 
one corn on the cob. Kept right at an hour and five minutes. It was fork tender. I went ahead and took it out. The rest of them were just sitting in there waiting to be pulled out. So this corn on the cob is really, really tasty. The kernels on this cob cooked up really, really well. Part about this is the taste. Hope you try this out. It's really, really easy. 